Hello my wonderful friends and welcome to my fave at five where I'm going to show you just one DIY that is my favorite. Um, for this one we are going to start off with a Dollar Tree planter. I already took the twine off the top and I'm taking mineral and antique wax by Waverly. I stirred it around but I'm not trying to get like a, a crazy blend and I'm just taking my chalk brush and stippling that on all around our planter. After I'm done with that, I'm gonna take this bunny image. You can seriously find this bunny image anywhere on Google. I promise this exact bunny image is everywhere. I soaked it in some coffee for a little bit, and here I am using my heat gun to dry it, but y'all, just set your oven at the lowest setting, put it on a cookie sheet, and pop it in the oven for a couple minutes, stand nearby and check on it, and it will crisp up in minutes and it's way easier than doing it this way. After I'm done with that, I'm going to take the image and I'm just going to tear around the edges. This is just going to give me a more vintage look. I didn't like the clean and crisp lines of cutting it with the scissors. You can also use if you have those like nifty uh, scrap looking scissors, you know, that give the designs when they cut, you can use that as well. Then I crumble it up because you know, that's just how I do. And taking Mod Podge, I'm gonna coat the back and then we are just going to lay that on the front of the planner, but you wanna make sure you get below that line because we are gonna put something on the top rim. That's why I didn't paint it. Now, I do coat the um, top with Mod Podge after this step. I do not show it, but I just take some of that mixture that we did to the planter and put it around the image just to make it a little bit more cohesive. And then you guys know, you guys know I left this in here for you, but here's Hanky Doodle. And let me know down below if your pets are in your craft room with you. Do they hang out with you? And if so, what kind of pet do you have? Hank does lay there and he happens to find every darn wood bead there possibly could be hidden or that has fallen, I swear. All right, now back to the craft. We are going to take this five inch burlap. This is, I think from Walmart, but you know what? I got lucky one summer and found some at Dollar Tree, so I don't know. I'm gonna hot glue it starting at that rim that is towards the bottom and I'm not worried about the excess that is sticking up because I am just going to tuck that in my planter. Now you can use any kind of color burlap, you could use ribbon, you could have even just left the twine on this and it would have looked good but in my head I was going for a very specific look. So that's why I chose to go with the burlap. So I am making sure that I pull that nice and tight so that we don't have any sagging once it's done. I'm going to hot glue the seam right here and then I'm going to just tuck in. This planter was for my own home decor. I wasn't selling it. So I just tucked it in and then hot glued it at the seam so it doesn't go anywhere. I just flip it on around, make sure that that seam is actually closed on the outside. I take some white roses from Walmart. I put those in there and look at how beautiful this spring planter is. This in my eyes is high end. I love it. The roses just top it off for me. Let me know what you think down in the comments and check out my channel, Unicorn Dust Designs. Thank you.